Real-time strategy games normally involve things like managing complex base building, memorizing tech trees, and maximizing your APM until your right mouse button explodes into a million broken dreams. Warpips, on the other hand, lets you enjoy the fun of the strategy while also letting you focus on the magic of explosions and crushing your enemies without the need to make sure your SCVs are mining efficiently. The first thing you'll probably notice about Warpips is that it kind of looks like the menu screen from Command & Conquer Generals. That's pretty cool, right? If that was the goal, then way to tickle my nostalgia zone. When you start the campaign, you'll be presented with an island blob broken up into sections for you to conquer with rampant destruction. Your first task will be picking a mission, and the enemy kindly provides a whole list of every unit they intend to send your way. Now it's your job to select an assortment of units that can kick the collective asses of their units and seize the day. You may wonder, why not pick all of these? Well, you can, but once you use it, you lose it. These machine gun wielding soldiers won't stick around for the after party, presumably because everyone explodes at the end of each match. Once you start your perilous battle with a catchy name like Extra Small Train or Kind Toilet, you'll get an overview of the battlefield separating your base from the enemies. Then all you have to do is wait for your money to build up and click on your units to spawn them and watch them march across the battlefield to their inevitable death. That's it! Once they spark into existence, they're on their own, navigating the obstacles, attacking the enemy, and finding cover. Whether it's the heavily armored machine gunner, artillery calling tactician, cannon blasting tank, or human meat shield swarm of the mercenaries, these units will be guiding themselves to victory or defeat. Each kill they get will turn into a delightful stream of XP for this bar, which once filled will award you with a combat point. Each one of these combat points has the power to make your army suck just a little bit less. You can use them to rank up your units, making them more powerful and giving them new skills, or they can be used to unlock special units you chose, like the sniper or this Humvee that always suicides itself. They're also the currency used to unlock more units on the battlefield at the same time, or you can just straight up trade them for cold hard cash. The real strategy of this game is making sure you use these points for the right shit at the right time. Once your units start spawn camping the enemy, they'll begin blasting away at their base until it explodes in a blaze of glory. With this fiery ending comes a warm wave of delicious resources for you to consume on future missions. But each victory has the bittersweet dark chocolate disappointment of making every subsequent mission more difficult until you complete the island. If you do manage to make it through these three islands without losing all three of your lives, you'll be rewarded with the majesty of a good job screen that stands as a placeholder in this early access entry. But sometimes all you need is a little positive reinforcement, so it's good enough for me. War Pips, all the best action and strategy you can get with as little physical effort as possible. This abbreviated review was brought to you by my patrons, Nexus Store, and viewers like you. If you like game reviews that aren't really game reviews and also sound like commercials, act now and like this video and subscribe to see more.